No way! I can't believe this. Well, stuff like this always adds a bit of character to a fishing location, doesn't it? Now then, today I am going to be fishing one of the most exciting and unique lakes I have ever fished. An old abandoned quarry in the middle of nowhere. This place is full of fish and I've heard rumours from multiple sources that the perch get absolutely huge. This place is actually so old, so overgrown, you can tell it's been a very long time since it's actually been a working quarry. It's almost quite historic, but yeah, we've got a um, quite a walk to get down there through all these woods and a few obstacles like this rope we're going to have to climb down down here. So let's get to it. You can see the size of this drop here just by looking at that cliff face on the left. Well, I'm very grateful to whoever put this rope here. It's actually a lot steeper than it looks on camera. Oh, well, I wouldn't say this is exactly an, uh, an advanced ab sail, but with slippy rocks and a bag full of fish and stuff, it's definitely worthy of taking a bit of extra time and care. Well, stuff like this always adds a bit of character to a fishing location, doesn't it? Oh, muddy hands, but we're alive. Well, I have actually fished here once before and that was in summer. This place looked completely different. Everything was green, all the trees were full of leaves. Check out this walkway too, though. This is just incredible, a nice meandering path. I always enjoy a bit of a walk down to a fishing spot too. Makes it that bit more special. So I originally found out about this place. I got told about it by a subscriber who said there was monster perch in here. I came down and I thought I caught one at 34 centimeters. It was an absolutely beautiful fish. I caught countless tiny ones through the day, but I've since been told by somebody else on the bank that the fish get much, much bigger than that. So that's going to be the aim for today. Not going to bother with any of the smaller ones really. Just going to do what I can to get a monster PB perch on the bank. There you go, there's our first sighting of the lake. What a place this is, I cannot wait to get started. So my tactic of choice to try catch these big abandoned quarry perch is the Mollock Stick Flex and its Predator Tackle exclusive colour, Ned Rigged on a Z-Man Jig Head. There'll be a link in the description to where you can find these. Right, first cast. Let's see what we can do today. Got to follow. There we go. Fish on. First cast. First cast. <laughs> Come on. Yes, get in. It's just a small one. Look at that for the first fish of the day. It's not a huge one, but it's a great start to get one on the first cast on the Mollick Stick Flex. Let's get it back. Thank you very much, fish. Well, that is actually such a promising start. It's unbelievable. I was scared today was gonna to be a really hard, slow day. I mean, it still could be, but with a fish on the first cast, it should only get better from here. That was absolutely awesome. I saw that fish following it in from ages away. This water is so clear, but what a promising sign that is for the rest of the trip. Better get my net out just in case the next one's 10 times the size. Right, I'm going to go head over there because that's where I did catch a decent one last time, although it does look a bit windy. And then I'm going to have to come back and make my way along all of this because as you can see, the wind sort of stops just off that rock over there and it's a bit more sheltered. So if I can make it over, I'm definitely going to try and climb my way around. My girlfriend has just sent me a very cute video of my two-year-old. You have to have a look at this. He's just learning to talk. Say no. No. <laughs> Say yeah. Yeah. Say mummy. Mummy. Say no. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Say no. No. <laughs> Isn't he just adorable? 
So I've just swapped over to a very simple drop shot rig with some worms on. It's not normally how I like to fish. It is sort of cheating for perch, but um, we won't talk about that. No, the reason why I'm doing this is because the people that I've met that have told me about this spot have said the big ones, the only way to catch them is on live bait. And I liked the thought of proving them wrong, but also if they are right, I'd like a chance at catching one. I will be getting the mollocks. Oh, I'm having a bite. I will be getting the other one back on in a bit though, for sure. Well, I'm having to walk around back the other way now because my hands are just way too cold in that wind. Well, I've just put a good bit of time into fishing with worms just to see what would happen. What happened was I was getting loads of bites. They're only tiny ones. This place is full of roach as well as perch. So it's probably just a small fish hassling me. I'm going to get my mollock stick flex on and carry on in my pursuit of a big quarry fish. Oh, well, there we are. That's a method I am much more comfortable using. Right, time to take some risks and try to get onto that area over there. Well, the main risk I'm taking here is wet feet and uh, might not sound that bad, but it's only five degrees. Getting colder by the hour too. I have just fallen in the water and my feet are wet. Well, that's me fishing with soaking wet feet for the next couple of hours. I would not recommend you doing that, but for me, I just had to get around to this spot. I couldn't not because it does look very fishy. However, my toes are going numb already, so I might have made a bad call on that one. For anyone interested, the rod I'm using is the Rigged and Ready Fish Rig 180 with the RR1000 spinning reel on there. Fish on, I think. Oh no, I think it's just a branch or something under the water. <laughs> I really thought I had one then. Oh, that's just my luck. Looks like it's been down there quite a while. Hi. Do you mind if I have a swim? Uh, no, of course not. Sorry, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> well, here's me thinking I'm cold. Some woman's literally just come down and swum right across in front of me. I don't know how people can do it. I mean, everyone loves a good swim in summer, don't they? But this water, it is freezing. Fish on, fish on. I literally just saw her eyes and I cast to it. That doesn't feel like a nice fish. Sorry, that does feel like a nice fish. That feels like an exceptional fish. I just cast it to a rise. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Whoa. What is that? Is that a trout? That's a big trout. What is a trout doing in here? No way. No way. I can't believe this. This is unbelievable. This is absolutely unbelievable. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, I'm no stranger to catching trout on the fish rig 180, but on a, on a stick bait? That strikes me as very unlikely. She's an absolute beauty. Look at that, how's about that for an unexpected catch? Just giving this fish a good long rest and then we'll take a closer look. I can't believe it. Look at this from an abandoned quarry. This is an unbelievable fish. Wow, look at the mouth. Look at that. What a beast of a fish. I'm almost lost for words. Wow. 
Let's get it back. This fish genuinely isn't far off a PB. In fact, it might actually be one. That is so big. It's unbelievable. Just giving it a good rest. Definitely a wild fish, just because of the size of that head and its fins. Crikey. <laughs> Think that deserves a subscribe, don't you? If you're not subscribed already, that is. That is not something you see every day. Well, that is why I absolutely love fishing crazy places because you just never know what's going to turn up, do you? That's going to go down in history as one of my favourite fishing moments, I think. A massive trout. Wasn't expecting that today. I thought it was perch fishing. I've just had a thought. How crazy is it that my first trip out with that Moloch Stick Flex, I caught a £2 plus perch, my first ever one. My biggest ever perch, first time out with it, second time out with it. We come and nail a huge surprise trout out of an abandoned quarry. That is a special bit of kit for sure. Well, as you can see, it's getting a little too dark to carry on fishing. I've fished till the end of the day. My feet are freezing, so I'm gonna have to leave you until the next one. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this video and if you wanna see me come back and try catch the monstrous perch that lives in here. <laughs>